They were trapped on the beach. A deep sea in front of them, no escape to the right or to the left, and the entire army of Egypt behind them, coming to kill them all. All of a sudden, the angel of the Lord, who was in the pillar of cloud by day and fire by night, he shoots up into the sky, passes over the whole congregation, and drops in between them and their killers. The Lord then instructs Moses to stretch out his hand over the sea, at which time the Lord is going to split the sea in two, causing it to be dry with a strong east wind so that the people could escape. Now, most movies will show Moses stretching out his hand in front of him with that staff. But what if Moses stretches out his arms to his side, like he's about to be hung on the cross? And why a wind from the east? Dig back into Genesis chapter 2, verse 8, and you find that God had planted a paradise garden in the east called Eden. That is where God and man dwell together until a fall in the east. So, of course, the wind blows from God's presence in the east to now save his people. The children of Israel listened to the word of the Lord through their pastor to go into the midst of the waters and to come out onto the other side. Pharaoh and all of his hosts, his army, tried to follow them into the waters but the Lord clogs their wheels, sending them into a panic, and basically makes them stuck at the bottom of the waters. Having come out of the waters, Moses again stretches out his arms, and the waters drown hard-hearted Pharaoh and all his hosts in the water. The Lord account ends, thus the Lord saved Israel that day. St. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 10 that this was baptism. Of course it was. When you were baptized, the pastor brought you to the edge of the water. There Jesus created a way with his outstretched arms on the cross to save you as you passed through the waters with his word and at his command. Drowned in those waters were the things that sought your death. Satan and his demonic host along with your sins. You emerged on the other side, saved from your enemies. The Lord saved you that day, just as he had saved Israel thousands of years beforehand. That is how your God acts. Always to save you through the outstretched hands of Jesus, through his word and his sacraments. Verse 